Hey, what's up? This is Neil from MasterPaintNow.com. And hey, if you haven't checked it out yet, check out my new course on 3D Anatomy for Sculpting. Absolutely amazing course. You definitely want to check it out. Um, I don't know how to get rid of this that fact that it's picking up the lines for the white part, but just know that I'm going to show the difference between drawing with pencil and drawing with the Cintiq. So as you can see here, if I, you can see that I'm actually, I actually have a pencil and I actually have to draw and make strokes. Some people say like, oh, digital art's cheating or it's like, it's not the same. It, it like, there's almost a one-to-one -one correlation here when you're using uh, like this software. And let me see something. I'm trying to figure out why that's looking. There we go. And so I have this pencil here and th this pencil allows me to have side shading. So I can do this kind of side shading like you could with a real pencil as if the pencil were were tilted. It doesn't work quite as good, which I'll show you in just a second, or I can have it tilted more up like this and I can get more of these hard lines like this. And so if I want to draw something, I have to draw the same way. I, in fact, I think that drawing with a Cintiq is, well, it has advantages and disadvantages. One of the advantages is like, well, if I'm drawing with pencil and I want to get a closer look, I have to use like a, a zoom, like a, a loop or something. I have to like get like a, um, see now I have more control like closely, right? In order to do that with a pencil, you know, I have to actually like either, you know, wear a pair of glasses or something that allow me to like have greater magnification and it kind of gives like a similar effect, but not quite the same. And look, if I, and if I go sideways right here like this to try to shade this, I get a decent, you know, look here. I'm gonna go back like this though. But it's not as easy as it is with pencil. So that's where a pencil I think has the advantage is actually shading. But as you can see the the kind of you know movements that I have to make are the same kind of movements I would make if I was drawing with a pencil, right? So let's go look at a pencil real quick. So I pull out this is a just re did a course or not a course, but a, um, one of the lessons for a course I have right now. And part of it was drawn with pencil, so I re redid it again. So now I have this better camera so I can show you what it's like. So if I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I have this auto-focused. Right, so it, with the pencil, if I wanna do that side shading, I can actually hold my pencil like this and I can get this really nice side shading here, really easy. Go dark and I can go light like this. Right, it's really easy for me to do that. And then I can use like a, a pencil stub here. And if I wanna get rid of some of that harshness, I can easily do that. I can also like pick up some of this and I can actually, you know, smudge with this and look at that. I can get a nice, nice gradient on the other side there. So this is if you want something really smooth, you don't want much, you know, much teeth to it or grit to it. You can also blend all this out like that. So, but with pencil, but with pencil, I'm doing the same thing. The actions are the same. I still have to, you know, draw this basic shape here, you know, like sketch it out how I want the, the basic shape to be. Actually, I can't draw over there like it's weird. So I'm gonna turn my paper a little bit here and go over this way, All right? So I can still, let's say I want this here to be like where the, um, the eyebrow is. This will be a darker line. I get those fat lines like that. And to get these, you know, to get these thicker lines like this, it's much easier with the pencil than it is digital. So I just wanted to show that, you know, it's just a lot of people think that, oh well, it's cheating if you um, if you work digitally, and it's just it's really not. Like that's just not a good argument to make because that's just putting the form down is as you can see the the movement is the same like the movement is not any different and if anything there's this has a lot more challenges like look if I want to get that like nice side like I can't get that nice sideways look so much you know like it's a lot harder to get that so what I have to do is I have to do a different you know a different brush or something like maybe a brush like this and then I can turn the size down and now I can kind of you know lightly you know brush in where I wanted that or I can lightly go like this, but it has a different feel to it. Or maybe I can use um, this one here, right? And I can kind of get a similar kind of feel. But you know, I have to use these different brushes to try to simulate the real world. And it's actually, 
I think, in a lot of ways, it's more difficult to achieve. That. So there, like I said, there are some, you know, there are some benefits, and there are drawbacks to it. But what about with sculpting? But you can see it's kind of the same. I mean, I wish I can turn. I wonder if there's a way I can make that less. What if I change the background color? Let me see. What if I go like that? That eh, doesn't really change anything. What if I change the angle of the drawing? That kind of helps. So if I change the angle, you won't be able to see it as well if I have that angle right there. But let me see if I can get rid of that. Uh, Yeah, it's probably harder for you to see. But anyway, you can see that the movement I have to make is the exact same movements I make. And this has pressure sensitivity. So if I push harder, I get a harder. If I push lighter, I get a lighter. You can see this more clearly with like an ink brush. And I'll show it, I'll show what it actually looks like too with the actual recording of the screen, which I think I'm recording. I hope I hope so. Light and then dark. So yeah, with like an ink brush. So like I, I can still get those like um I can still fade out. I can go light and come in like this. I can still get that same kind of effect that I would get as if I were working with like a you know a pen with um, ink and it has like pressure, like a pencil. So a pressure, you know, pencils have that pressure sensitivity, and I can get that same kind of feeling on here. And you can see I'm using the same kind of movements. But what about sculpting though? So let's go and open up ZBrush. <clears throat> 